You know, the weapons are critical to the state of Ohio's case against George Wagner. Prosecutors say that George's younger brother, Jake, led investigators to help them pinpoint the location of those murder weapons when he confessed last year. It's taken 30 days of testimony for jurors in George Wagner's murder trial to see images like these. They're the weapons George's brother Jake Wagner says that he, George, and their dad, Billy Wagner, carried with them when they executed a plan to kill eight members of the Roden family on a single night in April 2016. Jake, who's declining to let his testimony be recorded, confessed to his role in the crimes last year and led investigators to the weapons five years after the homicide spree. But we were told that he would lead us to the murder weapons. Um, so um, he did. He told us that after the homicides and after they had buried those items and burned a lot of the items as well, that anything that was left over, they uh, had five gallon buckets of concrete and they dropped the stuff in four different buckets of concrete. That's prosecutor Angela Canepa during her opening statement. On Tuesday, Jake Wagner said his brother George, who's on trial for murder, initially helped him bury the weapons, the kind of evasive move Jake has linked George to. But on cross-examination, defense attorney John Parker tried to put Jake and his dad Billy at the crime scenes on their own, the result of the two men's desire to protect Jake's daughter from possibly being sexually assaulted. Parker cited statements Jake Wagner made about George's view of the murderous plan during his plea agreement. Jake said, quote, George didn't like the idea whatsoever and that he didn't want me to do it, adding that George said it was a bad idea. Now, there'll be no court here tomorrow in Waverly for administrative reasons. George Wagner's trial will resume at 9 o'clock Friday morning with the defense continuing their cross-examination of Jake Wagner. Reporting live tonight in Pike County, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. Todd, obviously we don't get to see or, see or hear him as he's testifying. So what was Jake Wagner's demeanor like during the testimony? You know, I've said it before, calm, cool, and either somewhat or fairly calculated. It's really hard to read him. He has shown very little emotion. On an occasion, he's, he's smiled at inappropriate times, and he's acknowledged that. He said it's, it's basically a tick that he has. He says he means no disrespect. That's been interesting. Also, Mike, of note, for the, during Jake Wagner's testimony, the courtroom here in Waverly has been at capacity, by and large. People coming in, outside observers, wanting to see this testimony in person, since, again, Jake has declined to let it be broadcast outside the courtroom. It has been very interesting dynamic during the past several days here in Waverly. My